And so I argued and uh, successfully to put the national office in Clarksdale. The argument was centered primarily around the fact that how can you say that you care about people and you want to serve people, but you don't want to live with them and you don't want to work with them. You don't want to go to church with them. You don't want to go to the grocery store with them, but you really want to help them? Come on. My name is Pete Johnson. I'm from Clarksdale, Mississippi. I was the first federal co-chairman of the Delta Regional Authority. Well, it was a very broad mission, and that was to turn the economy around in the entire region. As we looked at and analyzed each component of an economy and what it took to turn an economy around, it came down to two pivotal points and that we couldn't separate the two. The first one was education, the other one was health care. The Delta region is still just as important today as it was even when DRA got started 20 years ago. To leverage resources, to help create jobs, to work with business and industry to make sure they understood what kind of workforce that we had in the region. To put programs in place where we're using to assets like the creative economy. To work with entrepreneurs to help create a support system so they know that they could be successful. I, I'm the proudest of, of the accomplishments that we made in workforce development, specifically industry-driven workforce development, where we would work with the industry in an area to bring opportunities, skilled labor opportunities, to an area that did not exist before. Uh, plumbing, welding, coding, uh, truck driving, to areas that had a need and there was no mechanism. Each uh, chairman had different priorities, so we would have a wave, so to speak, throughout the footprint of priorities with the projects. So, you know, one may be health care. So we would have a lot of health care projects come through. And of course, here recently, it's been infrastructure. And so they were all needed. It's just that we all work together to address the same issues. And it's been very successful. And um, I'm just tickled to death to be part of it still. Us being able to be that bridge and that conduit for federal funding to be able to support local initiatives is really what makes DRA unique and what makes DRA special and really a leader in the economic development space for the Delta region. Well, of course, our, our focus is, you know, economic development, but you can't have economic development if you don't have a, a healthy workforce. There can be no work without, you know, healthy employees. Well, the whole, the mission as a whole for DRA is it's, it's all encompassing. You cannot have one element without having the other four elements. So having a qualified workforce, how do you get companies in if you don't have technicians with the skills or, or the literacy ability? I think from a regional commission perspective, I think DRA has really been an innovative been an innovator and a thought leader in the workforce development space for the Delta region. Uh, you know, through our investments and programs, through our partnership with the Department of Labor and the Appalachian Regional Commission, you know, we've made some very strategic high dollar investments in really innovative workforce development programming across the footprint. We work with our partners at um, HRSA, uh, the National Rural Health Resource Center to deliver these programs, but we partner with other agencies like the U.S. Department of Defense and the Military Reserve Forces to deliver these much needed programs um, to our residents. Well, you know, DRA used to stand for Delta Regional Authority. I would now call it the Delta Radical Authority because they've gotten much more innovative, much more entrepreneurial in their approach about how they engage with us as economic development organizations and the business community. My first year in office, we applied for a grant and received it, and it was for some drainage, um, big drainage project in a commercial park area. Uh, since then, we have had a business already located in that area because of the improved drainage that has employed over 150 people. We have two more businesses that have located in that area. We all understand that we're in the Mississippi Delta, so flooding is a huge issue for us uh, in our watershed and how water moves here and DRA giving grants for um, 
you know, pump stations and lift stations and, and these rural towns needing quality water. I can think of Oak Grove is another one that DRA has given money to uh, to help their quality uh, water. So everything that we do on an everyday basis that we may not think of, we might just think it's like routine, that's the things that, that Delta Regional Authority have really dug in on um, to help out each community. Uh, we've got over 400 placements of veterans and careers in Louisiana um, since operations began in 2018. And because of great funding from like the, the uh, Delta Regional Authority, we've been able to expand our program to have four full-time staff here, which will also expand our goals around placement and around uh, corporate relationships. The University of Holy Cross has been serving the Greater New Orleans region for 105 years, since 1916. And we were founded to meet the needs of the larger community. That started with our teacher workforce to provide teachers in our K-12 schools. And that has evolved and grown and diversified into what we do in food science, for example, and colonology, one of the reasons we're grateful for the Delta Regional Authority support. This is our 40-foot Mechatronics Mobile Lab. Uh, we're really fortunate to have this. Uh, this is a three-way uh, opportunity between Nunez, North Shore, and Delgado Community Colleges, uh, which is kind of a unique combination effect that we have here in Southeast Louisiana. We've had uh, two cohorts so far, and we're, we've just picked a third cohort uh, of another 10 students that are coming in starting in the fall. Um, the students range anywhere from like right out of high school to uh, seasoned employers or, or employees who are, are coming back to, for some extra skills. So programs like the Mechatronics programs, partners like the Delta Regional Authority, by engaging the community and by giving us the funding to set up programs that pipeline the community into these jobs, they're actually making economic development possible. It's the glue. It's what holds it all together and makes it possible to stand up. We've always had great affinity for DRA and the numerous projects it's helped with around the area. Uh, just a few minutes ago, looking into the fact they've been hundreds of projects, just 94 last year alone, benefiting uh, in, in so many ways, uh, Grio and uh, Meraki, the little spinoff, uh, leadership training, the workforce training, the help with the startups, I mean just so much uh, in a way of contribution to this whole area. That's one of the things that DRA does is we're making these connections that otherwise wouldn't even be possible on a local, state, federal, regional level and that's just, it's incredible. Uh, but yeah, I think the next 20 years are going to be, are probably going to be the best in the sense that we're really starting to gain traction and momentum in the region. And we're, our congressional partners are really starting to see the value that DRA provides to the eight state region. And in the next 20 years, I, I really see us being able to start leveraging our investments to make a meaningful impact in the region. For our children, for our grandchildren, for our grandchildren's grandchildren, we have to continue this legacy. Uh, again, uh, there will be no United States of America without the Delta. Uh, and DRA is here to support our region. Helping create opportunities in areas where there hasn't been before and being a part of that team uh, to create those outcomes that change people's lives and alter the, the, the path of generational poverty. Where's the needle? Are we moving it? Is it moving? Great. Let's see it. If it's not moving, what are we doing? And so that's what we need to be focused on right now is really making that needle move. And I really think that the future is now. Programs come and go, right? Ideas change, but you know what? The institution of the Delta Regional Authority is critically important. And that's why I hope 20 years from now, when we come back and we're doing this again, it's bigger, it's bolder, it's stronger, it's tougher, and we're still making an impact 50 years from now. I would hope that one day it gets put out of business. Uh, I would hope that it's not needed because the region is so prosperous. It's a good investment for this nation to support the Delta Regional Authority and to make sure that the mission continues until it is no longer needed.